Thousands have signed petitions to get Piers Morgan reinstated on Good Morning Britain as ITV shares dived after he was forced to resign when Meghan Markle personally complained that he said he did not believe a word she said. One called Bring Back Piers Morgan, accused the channel of treating him appallingly and another titled Keep Piers Morgan on GMB for his common sense approach to life had more than 95,000 signatures. And a third, which has been signed by more than 35,000 people, described getting him sacked as an absolute farce as viewers lament his loss from the show and vowed to stop watching it from now on. ITV's shares plummeted by 4.3% today, despite yesterday's divisive show beating BBC Breakfast viewing figures for the first time since 2017, reeling in 1.29 million viewers. Experts say the shock departure of the channel's tough-talking morning host, who helped add a million new viewers in his time on GMB, could have prompted the rapid drop. Meanwhile campaigners yesterday said they were writing to ITV and Ofcom amid concerns of a chilling effect on free speech. They were concerned about the way the broadcaster insisted Mr. Morgan apologize for expressing his opinion, saying journalists should be free to express their skepticism about statements made by high-profile people without the risk of losing their job. Toby Young of the Free Speech Union expressed fears it looked like ITV was happy to censure a journalist at the request of a member of the royal family. Former BBC presenter Andrew Neal, who is launching new channel GB News, said he wished to talk to Mr. Morgan about a role, saying he would be a great asset. Meghan wrote to ITV's boss to complain about Mr. Morgan hours before the GMB co-host quit following an on-screen row with weatherman Alex Beresford. The Duchess of Sussex insists she was not upset that Mr. Morgan said he didn't believe a word she said in her Oprah interview, but was worried about how his comments could affect people attempting to deal with their own mental health problems, an insider told the Press Association. Standing firm today, Mr. Morgan told reporters outside his West London home, if I have to fall on my sword for expressing an honestly held opinion about Meghan Markle and that diatribe of bilge that she came out with in that interview, so be it. On Monday Ms. Markle went directly to ITV CEO Dame Carolyn McCall, the former boss of the left-wing Guardian newspaper, who signed off on the broadcaster's £1 million deal to show the Oprah interview and said yesterday they were dealing with the GMB host. Mr. Morgan is understood to have been ordered to apologize, but he refused and quit instead saying he had the right to tell viewers his honestly held opinions and declaring, freedom of speech is a hill I'm happy to die on. His departure from ITV's breakfast show, which he helped transform into a ratings hit that beat its BBC rival for the first time yesterday, came amid the fallout from the extraordinary Oprah interview that has caused the royal family's worst crisis since Edward VIII's abdication in 1936. Hours after it was broadcast Mr. Morgan branded Meghan Princess Pinocchio after the Duchess said she was suicidal while five months pregnant but was denied any help by the palace. She also accused the royal family of being concerned Archie's skin would be too dark and denying him the title of prince because he is mixed race, with Mr. Morgan demanding the Sussexes back up their claims with evidence. His views and his refusal to back down in the row sparked more than 41,000 complaints made to Ofcom, fueled by an orchestrated social media campaign spearheaded by his critics including several Labour MPs. But despite Mr. Morgan's years of successful skewering of ministers on the show, which led to a government boycott if GMB during the pandemic, Transport Secretary Grant Shapps said he would miss him. The Duchess of Sussex's decision to intervene in the row came as Mr. Morgan doubled down today after leaving GMB, calling Meghan's incendiary claims to Oprah about the royal family contemptible and declaring, I don't believe almost anything that comes out of her mouth. He added, I think the damage she's done to the British monarchy and to the Queen at a time when Prince Philip is lying in hospital is enormous and frankly contemptible, before revealing that he left on the day more people watched GMB than its BBC rival, five years after Piers transformed the ITV ratings flop. He tweeted later, Good morning Britain beat BBC breakfast in the ratings yesterday for the first time. My work is done. Mr. Morgan described his departure from the program he helped transform into a ratings hit as amicable, saying, I had a good chat with ITV and we agreed to disagree. He added, I'm just going to take it easy and see how we go. I believe in freedom of speech, I believe in the right to be allowed to have an opinion. If people want to believe Meghan Markle, that's entirely their right.